Hello and welcome to this uh, demo for the LinkedIn company page analysis spreadsheet. Let me just explain first of all that this is for a LinkedIn company page. It's not for your personal profile. It's for a business page. If you have your own company and you've created a business page, you will know obviously what that is. And this is the um, analytics for a, a CSV export from that page. So first and foremost, if you put your business, your business name in here, it doesn't go anywhere, it's just for the spreadsheet, um, first and foremost. And then there are some instructions down there which you can take a look at, but I'm going to explain to you how it works. On the next page is a data paste. Now, as you can see, I've already pasted some data in there from the previous month, from July, being the 31st of August when I filmed this. So I've pasted July's data, and I want to put August date below that because you can only get a month worth of data at a time from LinkedIn. So you need to do this, uh, this process every month. I would suggest doing it. Uh, in the new month for the old month. So if you do it, say, 3rd, 4th, maybe 5th of um, uh, uh, of August for July, you can get more accurate data because this data has been built in all the time. Because these dates are based on when the post was posted, so that post may well still be getting views later on. So you want to do it as late as possible, but uh, at, the end of, at the end of August, um, LinkedIn doesn't keep uh, June's uh, data anymore. So as soon as we get into September, it won't keep July's data. So you want to do the previous month before the current month ends. So let's go and have a look how we get that data. If you go to your profile, this is how LinkedIn currently have it set up. Who knows how they'll change it? They keep changing it. So I don't know where they, they may move this. But at the moment, if you click on your little profile thing at the top and you go down, you can see your company page. It opens in a new tab. And if you click on analytics, You've got three, the visitors, updates, and follows. If we click on updates, here is an export report button. Now, this is really where you want to get your export from. So if I click on here and click on the last 15 days and see I've already done uh, I've already done the previous month, so I want to do this month. You would normally be doing the previous month at this stage, I would imagine, but you can figure out which one of these you need to get. Just don't duplicate any data, that's all we say. So if I take this month's data, and I say export, you can see it exports here to a CSV file. Open that, and there is the data there. So I copy that, excluding the uh, the heading. You don't want to do you don't want to get the heading. So if I copy, if I highlight that data, go across, go across to engagement rate, no more. Copy, go back into this one and right click. Now, don't do the normal pace. Never, ever, ever use normal pace because, as you can see, you're really losing the line on the left-hand side because you're keeping the formatting from the old spreadsheet onto the new one. That's going to cause you nothing but issues. What you want to do is you want to say match destination formatting. So it takes the data from the old spreadsheet, but it keeps the formatting of the new one, and that's what you want to be doing. Sometimes it says match destination formatting if you're copying from a CSV. If you're copying from a normal spreadsheet, it'll say paste values, and that's the one you want to use. Always, always paste values. When you click on that one, there's your data into the new one. You can see here, there's July, here's August. Uh, it's got the American date there. This will switch around for the British date. That's one of the reasons why you say keep um, uh, destination formatting, because this is actually formatted as a text, and then off screen it breaks it down into a date. Right then, once you paste the data into here, what you obviously do then is as you go along, just paste one month. Each month after the next start of data, each month one after the other. Uh, you don't want to be pasting more than a year, um, and you also only have a thousand rows of data. So if you're pasting numerous posts per day, uh, please just keep in mind that you may you you've only got a thousand rows, and you also you just want to make sure that all the data does line up with the correct header, because uh, if you if you forgot if you've copied too few columns or something and they don't work out, uh, you'll be able you should be able to see it straight away. Once you've done that, click on the report. As you can see, the report is from uh, is obviously for for the years. So it'll it'll keep track of the dates if you've got the report there. As you scroll down, you can see I've only pasted two months worth of data. But obviously, as you post more, you'll get more uh, more data on for the for the graphs and charts. You can see here that in July I've done a lot more. Um, I've got a lot more impressions in August than I've got in July. Turfed impressions. Here you can see. Uh, July three posts, August there were five posts. So you can see each post and based on impressions. So the second one I did was a lot of impressions. Um, monthly impressions, actions breakdown. If you'd like to see what that second post you did on August, you can go back to the data page yourself and just have a look and see 
in August, which one, which, you know, which one was this, the second one, uh, which would have been the 9th of August. And if you click on there, you can see at the top, you know, what, what, what you wrote on that post. So anyhow, report, it's a scroll down, monthly impressions versus uh, action breakdown. So you've got your monthly impressions and these are the, your, your uh, clicks on the impressions. So I've got the same number of clicks on the impressions, but obviously a lot more impressions. So July's impressions, although they've got fewer people looking at them, more clicks. So that's how that works. And as you scroll down, you'll be able to see what's going on. Um, uh, LinkedIn company page here. Uh, those are basically just a breakdown of, of all the different figures. Uh, link, the, this is month by month, so July, August, you can see uh, clicks versus impressions. Scroll down for each of the months. Okay, I haven't filled then I haven't filled that data in yet. And then at the bottom, you've got a breakdown. Um, obviously, it clicks on impressions versus total interactions. Um, and uh, followers are quiet. If you've got followers, you'll be able to see the followers on here as to how many people you've got. You, you know, you've got following you each month. So that's the report. This is all automatically generated based on your data, and you just uh, paste. The values month after month after month of the data into the spreadsheet and uh yeah we hope that that hope that helps you in your business and uh we wish you all the best with your linkedin marketing success thank you very much goodbye